Hello and welcome to ZimDocs. I'm Dr. Abstract. In this ZimDocs we're going to take a look at movie clips. So we'll go to the site now, zimjs.com, press Docs, and the movie clip is right here. Maybe before we go into it though, perhaps we should just say that movie clips are used in Adobe Animate. They come from Flash initially. We tend not to use them in Zim when we're, when we're coding with Zim but they are certainly still popular in Adobe Animate. They're necessary in Adobe Animate, and they do work in Zim. So we have this thing under the code section called, if we scroll down here past the template, another template right here is called Zim Shim. So Zim Shim will describe how you can work in Adobe Animate with Zim and what you need to do with the movie clips to make the movie clips work. All right, uh, you need to zimify it and a few other things like that uh, that are a little bit different. Ah, but under the docs, you can actually make a movie clip in Zim if you so desire. What it is really is it's a CreateJS container that holds animations is uh, primarily what it is. So uh, we have made one here in an example, and that's what I'm going to show you. So let's take a look at that in code. Here it is, Zim movie clip. And what we have is a copy of the, the document example here. We're making a new movie clip. We have this circle, and we're also animating the circle. So you can see that we're animating the circle. It's not even added to the stage yet. And then we're passing in the circle's Zim tween. What Zim tween represents is actually a CreateJS tween. So that's the CreateJS tween object that is running in behind and it's stored under Zim tween property. Occasionally a method needs to store properties on its object and whenever we do that we want to make sure that we're not going to be overwriting somebody else, you know, your, you, the developers, uh, property names. So anytime we do that we usually put the word Zim in front. So this is the tween that Zim is currently storing on the circle. And that's what the uh, add tween needs. So the movie clip's timeline, the movie clip has a timeline. You can add a tween to that, and then you can play the movie clip. We're going to center it on the stage. Even the center on the stage wouldn't work with the Create CreateJS movie clip until you zimify it. And even at that point, uh, movie clips unfortunately don't have an updated in, uh, in CreateJS and sort of the Adobe system don't have an updated local to global, global to local, local to local, to handle the scaled stage that Animate does. So we're working, we're, we're, we're in talks with CreateJS to see if they can update that, uh, or if they even want to, because it's quite a big update, actually. We have updated on the Zim side. So anyway, this will center. And then we're saying, hey, pause that movie clip when we press on the stage. So shall we try it? Open this up in a browser. And there's the, the movie clip playing, and we press on the stage, and it pauses, press on the stage, and then plays. So there you go. A, a looping animation has been added, and I suppose the idea is you could create multiple animations and add them to the timeline, pause them all, maybe control them all. I, I'm not sure. Like I said, don't really work with movie clips anymore in, in sort of the raw Zim here but they are still certainly necessary if you're in Adobe Animate and they, they work well uh, to a certain degree. We, we, we would need to also give them bounds and there's a few other weird things. Like they're not really a container. You can't find out how many children they have. It's I find them a little bit awkward in comparison, but they certainly can work well side by side with Zim. You've got a movie clip and you can move it around and make it disappear with a Zim button and you know that kind of stuff. So. It works out all right, and that's a little bit of info from Zim Docs about the movie clip. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day. Ciao.